President Obama took South Korea's President Lee to the Detroit area yesterday to tout the new U.S.-Korea free trade agreement as a job creator for the American auto industry. For Mr. Obama, key to that end are electric cars and the batteries that power them. Cynthia Bowers went to a plant where federal stimulus money has already led to new jobs. Half the people here, approximately half the people were unemployed, so we put people back to work. David View's company, A123 Systems, makes lithium batteries for electric vehicles. Last year, he hired a thousand employees for this factory just outside Detroit, thanks to a $249 million stimulus grant. Having this job means everything to me. Annette Herrera had been out of work for three years. It was really hard. You go down the streets and you see empty houses. There's just a lot of people unemployed. Michigan has lost a million jobs in just the last decade, one in 10 gone overseas. For years, Asia has dominated the lithium battery industry. But the Obama administration is betting big to bring it back, gambling $2.5 billion to claw back skilled blue collar jobs and grow the electric car sector. You're helping America lead in a growing new industry. The administration has set an ambitious target, aiming to center 20 percent of the global lithium battery market in the U.S. by late 2012, 40 percent by 2015. So far, sales of electric vehicles have not met expectations, leading some to wonder about the wisdom of investing in a technology for a car with little demand. We don't know if the electric vehicle is going to take off in this market. That's a real concern. If they can drive down costs and make it easier to have an electric vehicle, people will actually buy them. Just this week, A123 Systems announced a deal with General Motors to provide batteries for its first all-electric car, the Spark, which will be sold in limited quantities beginning in 2013. News that only makes Annette Herrera more confident about the days ahead. I think this is going to be a wonderful future. I think that we will be here a long time. Long enough, she hopes, to see her through to retirement. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Detroit.